Hi friends, how are you doing? I am Ami. Welcome to Mass Academy. Today we are discussing about Newton's third law. This ball are placed a downward force on my hand. Then my hand are placed an equal force on the ball in the upward direction. And this book on the table are placed a downward force on the table. Then this table are placed an equal force on the book in the upward direction. And if I push this table, then the table will push me in the backward direction with the same force. This is called Newton's third law. That's when two objects interact, they are placed equal forces on each other in the opposite direction. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. If this book on the table applies a 5 Newton force downward on the table, then the table applies 5 Newton force on the book in the upward direction. Forces cannot act alone. Forces always act in pairs, called interaction pairs, that is action and reaction. Newton's third law is applied when two systems interact. For example, when this hammer applies a downward force on this nail, then the nail will apply an upward force, an equal upward force on the hammer. If the hammer applies a 50 Newton force on the nail downwards, then the nail will apply a 50 Newton force on the hammer in the upward direction. What are the properties of interaction pairs? Number one, action and reaction are always equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Number two, action and reaction always act on two different objects. When one force is acting on the nail, the other force is acting on the hammer. When one force is acting on the table, the other force is acting on the book. Action and reaction never act on a single object. For example, there are two forces acting on this ball. One is weight of the ball acting downwards and second normal contact force acting upwards. These two forces are not interaction pairs because both the forces are acting on a single object. Interaction pairs always act on two different objects in the opposite directions. Number three, action and reaction always act along the same line. If one force is acting along this line, then the other force will act along the same line in the opposite direction. Number four, Action and reaction always act for same duration of time. For example, if one force is acting for 2 seconds, then the other force will act for 2 seconds only. Newton's third law is very common in our daily life. For example, when we walk, we apply a backward force on the ground. Then ground applies an equal force in the forward direction on our feet. With the help of that force, we are able to walk. When we jump, we apply a downward force on the ground. Then ground applies an equal force in the upward direction. With the help of that force, we are able to jump. When a car is moving, the car tires are applying a backward force on the ground. Then ground applies a forward force on the car. With the help of that force, the car is able to move. Balloon applies a backward force on the air, then air applies an equal force in the opposite direction. That's why the balloon is moving. During rocket launching, rocket applies downward force on the gas, then gas applies equal force in the upward direction. With the help of that, the rocket is able to move. According to Newton's third law, when two objects collide, they apply equal forces on each other in the opposite directions. 
the acceleration of the object is inversely proportional to its mass by newton's second law acceleration is equal to net force divided by mass of the object so the object with greater mass will have less acceleration when i drop this ball the ball is pulled downwards by earth's gravity so the ball is accelerating downwards at 9.8 meter per second squared by newton's third law ball applies an equal force on the earth in the upward direction then why we are not able to see that earth is accelerating towards the ball it's because the acceleration of an object is inversely proportional to the mass of the object by newton's second law acceleration is equal to force divided by mass so earth has very large mass mass of earth is very large so the acceleration will be very very small it is insignificant it's negligibly small that's why we are not able to sense the acceleration of the earth towards the ball